so we have the LR Goku and Vegeta um, in the data download here. Um, this is definitely one of the more impressive units in the game, I would say, without question here. Um, I think that they are about top five level. Like, you know, I want to use them some more. I think I probably will end up liking STR Vegito a, a bit better. Just another thing is transformation will be easier to get into, right? Um, but, uh, I mean, LR Gogeta, you know, you can't, like, Vegito does way more damage. Gogeta is just tanking way better than Vegito. It's not even close, right? Um, now, the, the one thing that I, I am sort of iffy on as a transformation condition. The other thing is I do really wish this would have been the movie hero leader because the thing that is beautiful about the design of the Goku and Vegeta and that, well, both of the Goku and Vegeta, the SCR Vegeta and the tech Gogeta right here, is this. They have Saiyan lineage, shocking speed, and prepare for battle, which just makes them a god of a leader. And then add into the fact that this unit has a 50% chance to create rainbow orbs... Like, this is just, this is actually one of the best, like, leader units in the game. Like, th like it's like a top five, like, like not like how good is the leader skill or how good is a category, but just like, how well does, like, running two of this character work on the team? They're adding so much to the team with Rainbow Orb changing and then having three major key links, Saiyan Lenny, Checking Speed, and Prepare for Battle. This would actually be the ideal movie hero leader i'm really bummed that they gave him connected hope rather than movie hero dude movie hero i think would have been just so much better now we have the time limit category that's the new category that this unit is introducing the time limit category is actually i think pretty good if we take a look at it right it's very very basic and very easy to understand there are a couple of characters that i'm a little frustrated are not in here um, we'll talk about it, right? Okay, so Oolong, of course, has got the, the five limit time limit for transformation. Um, many of the fusion, almost all the fusions are in here, right? All of the Gogetas are in here. You know, you got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Dragon Ball Z Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super Gogeta. All of the Gotenks are in here. Like, pretty much almost all of the fusions are in this category team, right? So that's going to be very good. Having all these different fusions together, a lot of the fusions, Patara and just fusion dance characters work very, very well together. So the time limit uh, thing is not really going to be so bad. It, it's going to be good, right? Um, like this category is going to be very solid. I mean, when people are running this team, let's be real. You, you guys are just going to run Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Physical Vegito Blue, right? LR Tech Gogeta, LR Vegito Blue. Like, you're just going to be running characters like that, right? Like, you're just going to run a full fusion team. I feel like that's how most people are going to run this team. Um, all right, so we have Angel Golden Freeze here and several different Angel Freezes. The reason for their inclusion is because, remember, several times throughout the series, uh, characters are brought back to the living world by Baba. They are given one day in the living world by Baba. Um, and we see several characters are on here because of that sort of like, uh, you know, like fortune teller Baba thing. We have the Universal Survival Saga Angel Freezes. That's why they're on here. But if we go ahead and take a look real fast, um, the Dragon Ball Z Angel Frieza is not on the category because he's just in hell, right? Whereas like the Dragon Ball Super Frieza, like he, you know, leaves hell and fights in the Universal Survival Saga tournament. Um... You have Angel Vegeta as well. So, like, we have... Where is... Where is this LR version? Here he is, right here. LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta is on here. Um, I mean, that's... What's interesting is, again, he is brought back by Baba. Is the... Oh, oh okay, okay. He, he's here as well. Okay, okay. Because I was just about to say, he could potentially be on there since he's trying to save, like, five minutes for Goku. But the fact that this Vegeta is on here as well, I, I don't really think that's what they're going for. All right, so both of these Vegetas are down here also. That's good. Um, so Angel Vegeta from the end of the Boo Saga is on here, right? Um, man, we're going to get into it, but it's, I, I just think it's so stupid that STR Vegito is not on here, right? I, again, we're, we're, we're going to, we're going to get a whole long segment about that. Um, so we have Angel Vegeta, Grandpa Gohan, of course, uh, is brought back by Baba and fights Goku early on in Dragon Ball. That's, if you have not, that's one of the best moments in the series, by the way, is when, uh, Goku is reunited with Grandpa Gohan when he realizes it's Grandpa Gohan. That shit is so good. Um, then, of course, many Buu Saga Gokus are here, right? Um, now, the reason Buu Saga Gokus are here 
again, the same principle as, as uh, like, Grandpa Gohan and stuff like that. Like, this Goku it returns to the living world because Baba brought him there. This is why Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not on the category, by the way. Um, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not on this category um, because he's the one that fights Janemba, right? The one that's probably about to get an easy A when we get Celebration Info about four hours from now. Um, I think that Angel Goku is going to easy A, right? Um, but he's from the fight in Hell against Janemba, so that's why he's not on here. But this one is here because this is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that fights Fat Boo, right? Um... Now, the thing is, though, about these Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, I think Goku using Super Saiyan 3 in Otherworld and not being on the category is fine. That vibes with what he says. I think the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus from the Kid Buu fight should also be in here. Now, there is only one that does the Spirit Bomb, but literally, think of the transformation like animation that goku like he de transforms and it's like what the hell is going on he had a time limit right like that the the super all the super saiyan 3 gokus not in other worlds should be on this category so int super saiyan 3 goku who is not on here should be on this category for sure um because he was fighting under a time limit right um, now that will piggyback off of another character I'm going to talk about that I do think should be on here as well, right? So we've got all those, like, Super Saiyan 2 Gokus and 3 Gokus, stuff like that. Again, just a lot more fusion. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito did make it, which is good. Um, here's the new banner unit, Gotenks. Um, again, a lot of the other, you know, same characters, all the different fusions we would expect to be on here. And then finally, we have, uh, Boo Tanks, specifically, uh, Boo Tanks characters are on here because he, of course, has the Go Tanks uh, absorbed inside of him. But that is good. That gets LR Buhan on the category. Now, the thing is, you could just instantly look at this and be like, ah, it's not really that big of a deal, right? Like, he'll work okay with Angel, Golden Freeze, and stuff like that. But Buhan actually does work rather well with the LR, Goku, and Vegeta um, because they share Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. I mean, that's fine, right? Like, that's you could definitely get the job done. Uh, with just that. That's one, the strength of like Buhan, STR Vegito, this Tech Gogeta, their ease of getting key orbs, you know, and then, I mean, this unit, um, that, uh, Tech Gogeta, they're not getting extra key per normal orbs the way STR Vegito and Buhan are, but they still do have this potential to orb change, right? And then once you fuse into Gogeta, it's guaranteed orb changing. This is something I feel like a lot of people have been overlooking with this character that is just like ridiculous, right? This... Like, this guy's, like, going to be doing, like, consistent, like, 5 million plus attack stats that are, like, 70% chance to crit, and he's rainbow orb changing, and he doesn't take damage, and he shows enemy super attacks. Like, he's definitely top 5. Like, he's he's crazy, right? Um, So, I feel like we've talked about a lot of the very obvious units on here, right? Like, we, we get why all these characters are on here. Um, there's not actually too much, I would argue, that doesn't make a lot of sense, Right here, let me uh, cut some of this down. I don't need this. Okay, so Goku. Um, let me save... I'm, I'm going to save some of these Gokus for later, is there? Okay, so I'm going to talk about Kaioken Goku and then UI Goku in a second. But I think I want to talk about the Frieza's first. Yeah, it's just the Kai like, like, See, so like this Goku, I, I would argue probably should be on the time limit category. I don't know about Dragon Fist Goku, though. Because like... You know, there. This guy literally, again, he de transforms into base. Like, obviously, he should be on the time limit category. But like the Dragon Fist Gokus, I, I, I don't, I don't know about them. Uh, the Angel Goku should, although again, it depends on if they're from the Janemba fight in Otherworld or fighting Fat Boo, right? Um, oh my God, God Goku. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, God, God Go. Well, I mean, move like. God Goku, he does, like, run out of, like, I don't know, it is weird, because he, like, kind of runs out of, like, God form, but, like, he still has the God power, because, like, then Super Saiyan Goku is able to just fight Beerus head-to-head, -head, so I guess it is a little bit tricky. Maybe this could have gone either way, they could have added God Goku or not. Um, again, we're going to talk about Kaioken and then UI in a second, but the rest of it, you know, is pretty obvious. Um, now, Vegito. Haha. <laughs> Vegito, Vegito, Vegito. If you guys have noticed, um, many Vegitos are on here, but no Super Vegitos are on the category here. I'm going to get rid of them. I want Freeze around. Okay. 
No Super Vegitos are on the category. None of these guys. Um, the Dragon Ball Z Veg Vegitos, basically. This guy is not on there. This guy is not on there. This guy is not on there, right? Um, now, the reason is because in Dragon Ball Z, right, initially, when Goku and Vegeta fuse into Vegito, uh, Elder, Supreme Kai, uh, you know, Old Kai is just basically like, yeah, um, you know, the Patara fusion is way better. I, I, I should have brought up this clip. I, I forgot, but whatever. He's like, yeah, the Patara f uh, fusion is uh, way... You know what? I could probably... Uh, uh, it's like 267? ish let me let me just quickly see here uh, i'm close <laughs> yeah it's it's literally no this is it D dude i'm good <laughs> yeah this is it hold on uh in here is this where yeah maybe it's it's it might be the previous episode but in here um old kai talks about like you know okay this is better yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, boom, boom, right here, okay, 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 here, okay, okay, so, well, I mean, we can play it a little bit, I guess, here. I do, I do gotta be careful, because, you know, they'll copyright the video. Okay, so, again, here he is. The Patar don't have that sort of, uh, shortcoming. It's forever. So, at the time, you know, when Toriyama was conceiving Patara Fusion and stuff like that, the dance had a time limit, but the Patara Fusion did not, right? Um, now, the thing about that, is they retconned that. Uh, that's not the case anymore, right? So if we head over to this right here, this awful, horrible scene. Oh, I hate this. This is the stupidest bullshit they ever did. So, you know, they're going to fuse to fight Zamasu, and Goku's like, hey, that's so weird the way we unfused, right? And then Galasu's like, yeah, if you're not Supreme Kai, it only lasts for an hour. Time limit! Dude. Like, yeah, I get it. Like, Super Vegito at the time, when Dragon Ball Z came out, there was no time limit and shit like that. But guess what? They retconned it. Dragon Ball Super Vegito characters are in Dokkan. So I, I would argue they have to follow the same rules. I think Dragon Ball Z Vegito should be on this time limit category. Right, it, that is this. I I hate this retcon so much because what they're implying is that when Vegito de defuses into Goku and Vegeta inside of Buhan, it's pure dumb luck that Goku and Vegeta didn't defuse a minute earlier and then just get themselves killed by Buhan. Right? It's ridiculous. Right? Because back then it's just like, oh, you know, the air in here is nasty. Maybe that's why we defuse right inside of Boo. But then they retconned it like, no, y'all just had a hard time limit. Uh, GG that you managed to like not defuse before you got absorbed into Buhad. Like it's it's ridiculous. But because of that retcon, I would very heavily argue um, that Vegito Dragon Ball Z Vegito should be on here, right? Um, then Frieza. Um, I've got a couple of things, right? So full power Frieza. I mean, here we go. Here's literally Super Saiyan Goku telling him. There you go. Basically, you got a limit to your power. You can't just be spamming that. There you go. Full power Frieza. Literally, Goku's line right here. Okay? Guess what? Frieza's got a time limit. So, GG. Full power Frieza should be on there, right? Um, now, guess who else should be on there? Is Resurrection F Golden Frieza. Again, I come with receipts. All right, so Frieza does this animation is terrible, by the way. It's horrible. Okay, where is it? Oh, did I, oh, I think I went by too fast. Here, where is it? All right. Looks like you're the one who ran out of time first. You ran out of time, huh? <laughs> Are you sure? He Frieza ran out of time. That's crazy. It's almost as though there's a category called time limit, huh? <laughs> so yeah. Uh Golden Frieza and Full Power Golden Frieza from Resurrection F should be on there and so should Full Power Frieza, for sure. Um they should be on the time limit category. Um and then of course there's Goku, right? A lot of the Kaiokens and UI Gokus I do think so. 
Now, the thing about Kaioken and UI Goku is, like, I think that's more of just, like, not having it mastered. Like, initial usage, like, stamina use is, like, out of control and shit like that. Because, like, I don't know, like, even, like, uh, reckless overusage, right? Like, it, it messes up their body and stuff like that. I don't know. I I would argue that UI Gokus and Kaioken Gokus should be on the category, right? Anytime Goku is using these forms... He's not just spamming them indefinitely, right? Like, it's not like Super Saiyan 1 where they get to the point where it's mastered and they could just use it infinitely. Like, I mean, Goku, I guess, could get to that point with UI, but, like, you know, a future arc with you, like, UI Goku from the Moro arc or something like that would not be on the category, sure. But the turn of power UI Goku most definitely should be. That, like, that's a huge, like, game changer, too, because I think AGL UI in UI and STR UI, all three of them, they're like borderline, like in UI is like top 15 unit in the game for sure. Right. STR UI and AGL UI, I think they're top 10. So like you're talking about adding like three of the top 15 units bare minimum to the category. Like that's huge. And like the UI Gokus have great link sets, right? Like, you know, they've got over in a flash some of them got shocking speed, right? They're working great with like all these fusion characters. Again, the Goku and Vegeta having shocking speed and prepared for battle going to allow them to work well with the UI Goku. So uh, it's just unnecessary. Like I think UI Goku should have been on here and it really would have powered up the team. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, those were just some of the characters I thought of that really should be on the category. Again, maybe sure. Super Vegito, whatever, but they still retconned it, dude. Like I, I didn't write that. Okay, they they decided to wreck on it. Guess what? We have uh, Dragon Ball Super Vegito on here following those same rules. So why does Dragon Ball Z Vegito all of a sudden? Why is he exempt from the retcon? Right? It's stupid. It makes no sense. So he should be on here as well. Um, other than that, like I think this is going to be a solid team. I feel like this is a team people are going to like to run. Um, but it, one reason it sucks so much about uh, Dragon Ball Z Vegito not being on there is because you don't have access to STR Vegito on this leader skill, right? Like, you don't have STR Vegito on the Tech Gogeta's leader skill, and you don't have Tech Gogeta on STR Vegito's leader skill either. They're not on each other's teams, which sucks. Um, I do really hate that because, I mean, these guys, uh, in base, they share 7 out of 7 links, and Fuse, they share 6 out of 7, right? Like, I, I feel as though this is the strongest rotation in the game, right? Super Gogeta and Super Vegito, I feel like that's, like, the strongest rotation in the game. This guy slot one, this guy slot two. And it's, like, that's just, like, devastation, right? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just wish that, like, I understand why they're not on these categories, right? That's fine. But, I mean, SCR Vegito really should have been on time limit, dude. He, honestly, I feel like SCR Vegito should be on Connected Hope, too, right? Like, am I crazy? If, if Vegito doesn't pull through, who who does it, right? Like, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think of the time limit category, Tech Gogeta. Um, I think this guy's great. Uh, I love him. I'm very hyped for him. Uh, listen, we had our Pycons, our Videls, all that. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing when it comes to <laughs> another Saiyan fusion. You're goddamn right! There's another set. Big Daddy is in town and guess what everyone is gonna be summoning and everyone is gonna be using the hell out of this guy i love it yes 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 this is what your boy is asking for i love it i am a huge fan of this unit so we'll see what's gonna happen um man i i'll tell you i really like the Frieza should be on here kaioken goku's ui goku stuff like that I mean, S like, Dragon Ball Z Vegito's really would help. I mean, so would UI Goku. The UI Goku's and Dragon Ball Z Vegito's would be so crazy on this team. This team, this would be, like, just so nuts if it had UI Goku and Dragon Ball Z Vegito on it, right? Like, it would be so stupid. Because you would just rock, like, you know, Gogeta, UI Goku. I mean, I guess you could run most of those characters on um, the Kamehameha team. Most of them are on there, besides, like, AGL Super Vegito or something, right? Um, so I guess that's that's where you could do it, but it would be really good for this category um, if they were sort of all on there as well. So let me know what you guys think about the time limit category. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.